True Peace Kins, Florida bill will permit students to record lectures to prove political bias. Man, peep the slang. A Florida bill will permit students to record classroom lectures without a professor's consent for proof if they suspect they are pushing political bias. House Bill 233 PDF, which currently requires the signature of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, will allow students to record lectures so long as it is for their own personal educational use or if they want to use the recording as evidence in a civil or criminal case against their school. Peter the slang. The recordings are for students' own personal educational use in connection with the complaint to the public institution of higher education where the recording was made or as evidence in or in preparation for a criminal or civil proceeding. The legislation states, sponsored by Republican State Rep. Spencer Roach, the bill cleared the Senate by 25 to 15 on April the 7th and was approved by the Republican dominant, dominated state house in a 77 to 42 party line vote in March. Peep the slang. If signed into law, students would not be able to publish the lecture recordings publicly or the professors could seek damages up to 200,000 according to the bill. Students would also be allowed to conduct free speech activities, including all forms of peaceful assemblies, protests and speeches, distributing lectures, carrying signs, circulating petitions, faculty research lectures, writings and commentary, whether published or unpublished, and the recording and publication, including the Internet publication of video or audio recorded in outdoor areas of campus. The State Board of Education may not shield students faculty or staff at Florida College system institutions from free speech protected under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. The language of the bill states it would also require public colleges and universities to survey students, faculty and staff about their political beliefs as part of a published annual survey to assess the status of intellectual freedom and viewpoint diversity on public university campuses. Completing the survey will be voluntarily for those in the campus communities. The survey must be objective, nonpartisan, and statistically valid, and its goal is to find whether competing ideas and perspectives and fairly presenting during lectures and whether students, faculty, and staff feel free to express their beliefs and viewpoints on campus or in the classroom. Another part of the bill prevents governing boards of public universities from shielding students, faculty, and staff from any speech, ideas, and opinions they may find uncomfortable, unwelcome, disagreeable, or offensive. The bill doesn't specify who will use the survey results for what purpose. Roach has said the results may be used for future policy decisions. The Santee office didn't immediately respond to a request for comment by the Epoch Times. Man, peep the slang, yo.